So first of all, we want to set up the top panel and the right panel. The top panel, it starts with this uh, Locus Map Pro. You just click on it and you can select what you want to see there on this location. I use time and battery status so I can see how many uh, battery percentages left. And then you can click here on the plus on the right side to select all the buttons that are available on the top and right panel. So you can see you I can move the search button down and now it should be just GPS and map themes on the top panel and search and the set function panel on the right panel and here we go so the map themes we don't need anymore I remove it and but we add some more functions I click on plus plus um, and select all those I need so here you can see how I did set up my buttons GPS, so I can see all GPS information, um, my accuracy, and then I have a button to switch very fast between maps I regularly use. For example, these are my last used maps. But I can also click here and I get to all maps. Then I can um, add a marker on the current GPS location and name it blah blah blah. Cancel the back. Um, track recording. And this is a nice feature too. So I calculate a route between this point and this point, for example. And it goes automatically along the road. Nice, hmm? Save. I can save it somewhere just for now. Um, so I can search, I can search for uh, Gaib, Kong Gaib is here. Um, I can, let's say, navigate to um, a place that I select on the map. Let's say Kampong Saum. Okay, and then it it will always show the the direction, uh, how far it is, and so on. Right. Uh, yeah, this is a real navigation. Um, also, select on map. Um, let's say here to to. Um, with a car and go there. Let's go. Let's go, you see. So this is a real navigation app and navigation. Um, here uh, I can uh, quickly, quickly, quickly um, show and hide some GPX or KML data without importing it into my library. Um, by the way, the library is here on top, the data button. Um, there are two main mm, places, one for points and one for tracks. So there are two folders now recorded and my tracks but I can also 
create a new folder or create a new folder for points mm, share share is yeah i mean you you guess what it means um yeah so my video about the user interface ends here and in the next video i show you what you should change in the settings of locos to make it even more user-friendly. So, see you soon!